the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! There are two people who the Bible commended their prayer lives in the Bible. I, I don't want to take the time to teach on that, but just to teach you a very powerful lesson. One of them is Elijah. Elijah was even referred to in the book of James as a template to help us pray. But another person was Daniel. The difference between the two is Daniel did not just pray alone. Daniel was commended not just for his prayer life. Daniel was commended for the spirit of excellence and intelligence. And notice that of two of them, when we remember the one who had a systemic impact, we remember Daniel. They both prayed, but in addition, Daniel was intelligent. He was flawless. At least we know Elijah was an angry man. Because there are certain things about administration and leadership. If he learned, he would have added to his prayer life and made him a better presentation of God's ambassador. And this was what Daniel, I, Daniel, understood by books. You never see I, Elijah, in addition to this. He called down fire. Yes, I agree. He judged the prophets of Baal, but he ran away. He ran away. From, you remember when he ran away? You never see Daniel running away because he was preserved by wisdom. Even in a strange and a foreign land, there were other things he had that stabilized him. His prayer was exceptional. He dealt with the spirits of the Medes and the Persians. But my goodness, they sought for an occasion to mock God and they did not find any. He was flawless. Unbelievers testified that he had the spirit of the gods there. Can they say that about you in office? Or the only thing they'll say is that you pray and you fast. You are the, you are the poorest in terms of your job. You are, you, and you are saying, apostle, you have to pray for me. I want to become the CEO. I love you, but I love the company too. Should it go down just because? Do you get what I'm teaching you now? Listen, I thank God. I study and I pray. But let me tell you sincerely, and I will not lie to you, that there, there is a dimension of understanding that only books will give you. You have to buy the truth and sit down. Most people want a global ministry. They want a global life. And all they have been taught that is responsible for global influence is impartation. You see that? Impartation is a system in the kingdom. But the value of impartation is that it comes upon a mind that has been transformed. Transformed through knowledge. Transformed through discipline. What is the call today? God is calling us. Calling us to a life of excellence. Calling us to a life of victory. God is calling us to rewrite the mistakes of those who have gone before us and that if we keep following that template alone without finding what else went wrong to have produced the lopsidedness that we see in those who have gone before us we will reproduce the same results including the same limitations let me give you a final charge write this down I truly believe that in the days that come, the days that are before us, the Lord will have believers to focus on three areas. Many areas, but three areas. And this came by the Spirit for me, and I said I'll, I'll use this to wrap up my session so that we'll pray. There are three major areas that believers must focus on and contend for victory in experience. Number one, your spiritual health. Please write it down. Number one, your spiritual health that means this should be the areas of focus especially within the season that we're in now your spiritual health that includes your relationship with God Matthew 22 please give us from verse 37 we're reading down to 40 your spiritual health Jesus said unto him thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind next verse this is the first and greatest commandment 39 and the second is like unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself it says on these two commandments hang the law and the prophet that means the purpose for all the law and the commandments that were given was a way of forcing you to achieve these two things to love the Lord with all your heart and then to love your neighbor as yourself 
Are we together now? Very important. Your spiritual health. Romans chapter 8 from verse 35. Paul gives us a very intelligent rendition there. He said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness, peril or the sword? Next verse. We are reading to 38. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 37. It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And then it says, For I am persuaded. May this be your persuasion tonight that neither death nor life. Read with me nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, uh -huh, shall be able, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Your spiritual health, that you must love the Lord above and beyond anything, above and beyond anyone, it's been my emphasis, our precious people sang it here, that we must love him, we must seek him. Loving the Lord means that your prayer life must be up and alive. Loving the Lord means that your fasting life must be up and alive. Loving the Lord means that your word study life must be up and alive. Your passion for the house of God, your passion for the things of God must be up and alive. Number two, what is the second area God will want us to focus on? in this season write this down your personal needs hmm. your personal needs and ladies and gentlemen please hear me do not downplay this take it as a prophetic instruction god wants you to begin to focus on your personal needs and get some results in place so that it can give you room to serve a bigger purpose are we together now yes your personal needs food shelter and all the personal things that you need to put in place if you don't think about it you don't plan it you don't take advantage of the grace of god to put things in place it will never happen hallelujah your personal needs that you make up your mind and say by the grace of god I should get to a point where this issue of thinking, where will I get money to buy food? Solve it. Solve it so that you can have the time to do no black kingdom things. When your personal needs are not sorted, I promise you, I wrote something down here. I said, your personal needs being met is the cure to depression and frustrations. When your personal needs are met, I can preach here and I can shout because I have Jesus in my heart, but I also have food in my house. Are we together now? Yes, sir. I have food in my house. So it has energized me to shout the word to your spirit because when I am done, I can go back. Jesus, your Jesus who preached at crusades, the Bible clearly told us that there were times he was hungry and there were provisions in place. Am I right on that? Listen to me. Please, I want you to take your personal needs seriously. Not just carnal needs, but that which is required to give you the stability to serve God. Like your children's school fees. Write it down and start doing something about it. Like the issue of a house. Write it down. Whether to rent or to build. In any way, take action. I have a responsibility over you. I will teach you the truth. It may not make sense now, but you will look back and say, thank you, apostle, for challenging me to take a step. There are people who will come and dedicate your houses before the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, every time God gives instructions like this, it's because behind that instruction is a grace to make it happen. You know what will happen to you by the time you sort the issue of rent out of your life? And God helps you to put systems in place. Now you can send your children to good schools. Now you have the authorization to lock yourself for three days and you will not feel irresponsible. Now your prayer life will become richer. 
You can pray for three days, but not when your children are out of school and they are writing PTA letters and your relatives are calling you all kinds of names. Then you say you are in the retreat for three days. No. Please take your personal needs serious. There are things that if they are not in place, if you're a man of God here, thank God for ministry and thank God for everything, but please by all means, obtain grace to pay attention. Oh, apostle, I think I need a car now to help me to be efficient in ministry. Do not think you are carnal for thinking that. If there is a legitimate need, write it down and obtain the grace and the wisdom to do something about it. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.